mango season is celebrated in this family with great pomp and splendor. It's just their obsession for mangoes that take on a whole new level. While most often they are very, very happy. For me, it's a saving grace to use mangoes either in a sweet style or sometimes savory. Kickstarting off this entire mango season is going to start off with some baked yogurt and a mango and candy ginger melange. Pairing these two together work perfectly well and any leftover baked yogurt forms a delight to enjoy with your morning breakfast. Let's get to creating this great, great, great season of wonders. As the name suggests, this needs to be baked, so I'm going to preheat the oven for a good 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius and get to creating a simple yet very, very stylish baked yogurt. Baked yogurts usually just have four or five main ingredients, but more importantly, it's all about the flavoring. You can scent it with some vanilla, you can scent it with some cardamom, or just go right ahead and scent it with some saffron. These are tricks that you can use that work really well with mango. So to start off into a bowl, I'm going to take about two and a half tablespoons of some cornstarch or corn flour. To that, I'm going to add about 200 ml of regular cream and just emulsify the two together so that there are no lumps. It's a very, very simple creation. As you whisk this to the smoothest of emulsions, the cornstarch blending with the cream and this just allows the baked yogurt to hold its form. In goes some vanilla, just eyeball. Vanilla is very simple. You put as much as you would like to enjoy. As you emulsify this and it gets that lovely, lovely ivory hue into it, it's time now to add some condensed milk. So in goes 400 ml of condensed milk, sheer indulgence and elegance. Just mix the entire emulsion well together and the condensed milk always adds that burst of flavor right into this creation. Now into this goes 800 grams of Greek yogurt that I've slightly whisked up. And I love using Greek yogurt because the creaminess that it has is perfect for this indulgence. So every last bit of it going in, a quick whisk, and you're ready to put it to bake. While you can put the entire creation into one large bowl and bake it in the oven, I prefer using small individual portions of ramekins that work really well for a dessert styled with that gorgeous mango melange or just for a morning breakfast with some cereal. It works really well when they are individually portioned. So two, three ladles of that going right into it and they sit in a bain mari. Six ramekins filled to perfection. These go right into a water bath into my tray and I like to ensure that the water bath is nice and hot so that it just aids in the overall baking because you do not need to bake this for too much. 180 for 15 minutes is all that's required here. In this goes 180 degrees Celsius for just about 15 minutes till they are set in the center. The best wiggle that comes from them in the center is all that's required to know that these are ready. While these are baking into the oven, it's time now to work with that fun mango element. So out here I've got five mangoes that I've just peeled and diced up. And into this goes a whole lot of goodness, creating that perfect melange of flavors. Into a bowl, these five mangoes go. And now comes about adding everything else to create that burst of flavor. So out here, I've got a tablespoon of super fine sugar, caster sugar, just to balance out all the flavors through and through. Sprinkle that on top. Now comes about adding the candy ginger, the almonds and everything else just to create a great delightful experience. So out here I've got some sweet candy ginger that I'm just going to chop up roughly and throw them in. 
Mango and ginger is actually a match made in heaven where the heat that the ginger brings balances out the perfect flavor that mango adds to any creation. So while you've chopped this all up roughly, now comes to adding some salted almonds into the entire mix. As coarse as possible, chop them. So I've got nearly about 30 grams of candied ginger and 40 grams of toasted salted almonds. Just roughly chop them and throw the entire creation into this. Pick this and just sprinkle it into this creation. And even any additional dust that you have, that's the salted almond dust, works well in balancing out the flavors. You don't really need to give it a sprinkling of salt because this balances out everything well. Lastly, some freshness coming together with some air dried mint roughly chopped up and goes into it just for a light tossing. The sharp scents that mint or rather the strong flavor that peppermint brings to this entire salad is a burst of goodness coming in. A quick toss and all you need to do is chill this to go along with that chilled baked yogurt. The old age style of a baked yogurt is to create a fan or a rosette right on top of the baked yogurt with some mango slices. But this is a total new style that works well as well. Into my bowl it goes, ready to chill. yogurt nearly ready it's now time to just take it out and bring it down to room temperature and more importantly chill it to enjoy with that gorgeous mango and candied ginger melange While I did allow the baked yogurt to chill for a good two to three hours because like I say family obsession takes precedence over anything else. It's preferred to actually allow it to chill overnight and enjoy it with that mangoes that are macerated really well with the salted almonds, the candied ginger and that burst of freshness coming alive with the mint leaves. I hope you enjoyed creating a simple, stylish, yet elegant fair. The first in our home this season when mangoes come a knocking. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. And as I always, always say, don't forget to subscribe.